It's our big story live at six. An explosion in freedom injures one and destroys a shed. Investigators say a propane tank may be to blame. It comes just days after this propane blast at an Appleton construction site that left one person hurt. With so many of us using propane tanks, tonight we examine how to safely use the gas. NBC 26's Marissa DeCandido is live in Freedom with tips to protect your family. Stacy, crews are still investigating the cause of the explosion and fire that turned a machine shed into this pile of rubble behind me. But they say a forklift fueled by a propane tank might have been the cause. Fighting something like this isn't for the faint of heart. You got to have pretty good nerves when you're in this line of work sometimes. Flames and smoke already pouring out of a machine shed when crews arrived at the scene east of Freedom. Fire Chief Mark Green says they don't know what caused the fire, but there was an explosion before crews got there. There was a forklift in the building, and uh, that, that could have been what the uh, explosion deal. He says he can't confirm the propane tank on the forklift caused the blast. But after an explosion just last week in Appleton, there are some questions about safety. The Wisconsin Propane Gas Association has some answers. Immediately put out all smoking materials and other open flames. Um, you would not want to operate any lights, appliances, telephones, or cell phones if there are flames or sparks. Schultz also says you should leave the area immediately if you smell gas and turn off the main supply if you can. Schultz also told me keeping your propane regularly checked can help you avoid problems, especially in the winter. Keeping you connected, Marissa D. Candido, NBC 26.